everyone, welcome back to Mom Talk TV. This week we are going to be talking about discipline and not just discipline in general, but how we discipline our children at home versus how we discipline in public. Um, for those of you who don't know, my boys are not super to the age where disciplining is something that we're practicing very much right now. They are almost 18 months old and so we haven't had a kind of like routine as far as you know how we discipline not a routine because that sounds like we discipline on a routine but we don't have a plan as to how we discipline we've talked about how we want to discipline but we really haven't had to follow through with that um what we have been having to do recently is when we go out to whether it be the mall or the grocery store or to church or somewhere like that we have had to kind of learn to discipline our boys and we're having a hard time figuring out how to do it for our age group like I said they're 18 months old and right now it's not so much acting out it's just the fact that they're at an age where they want to run everywhere like literally they just want to be running all over the place and so uh, when we go places like church or the mall or the grocery store they can't be running around because there's a a large amount of people and I don't want to be chasing kids going opposite ways B being that um, it's not an appropriate time to be running around so they can't be running around at church so what we have started doing is um, if we're out in public and they want to run around and they start doing that whole like lifting out of your lap thing and they start crying or screaming what we do is we remove them from the situation we remove them from there and we try to calm them down and I like to, my husband does it as well, but I like to kind of talk to them and say, you know, we don't do this, we can't do this, we don't play here, we don't run here, and kind of just try to bring them back into the situation and see if they behave better. But for the most part, you know, at the age we're at now, there's not much we can do. Um, as far as in the home, we, we haven't, again, we haven't had very many issues as to when we need to discipline. Um, our kids play fight and stuff, but they don't, we haven't had any, keep your fingers crossed because I know it's coming soon, but um, no issues with them beating each other up or um, kicking each other or hitting each other or biting each other. Um, we do have where they try to steal toys from each other and when that happens, I just take the toy away from both of them and it usually solves the problem. So. As far as like disciplining at home, we're, we're just not there yet, I, th I guess. Um, I think once they become a little bit more verbal, once they become a little bit more independent, more outgoing, once their personality starts start showing more, then we'll be able to kind of discipline. Our goal as far as disciplining is uh, we do would like to use the kind of... Um, uh, I guess I, I would call it the timeout method where we would remove them from the situation then situation will take a specific area of the home and make that the timeout area remove them from the situation and then I think it's a minute for every year they are old so for us it would only be a minute and a half or whatever um, but that's for our plan for the future obviously we want to talk them down we want to tell them what they did was wrong have them follow through with apologies and help them understand that what they're doing is wrong um, I was raised in a home where um, spanking was not something that happened when my parents didn't spank us um, when you know we were disciplined we were spoken to and we were we weren't put in time out but we were put in we were taken away from the situation whether it was go to our rooms or you know whatever we were still disciplined but I I'm not a, a believer in spanking um, I don't agree with the spanking you know as far as discipline for my family if that is what fits your family best that is up to you I am a firm believer that each parent and each family knows what's best for them so if, you know, spanking or swatting on the butts or swatting on the hands works, that's up to you. Um, but for us, we're just not there yet. So 
unfortunately this video I'm not going to be much help because um, we're just not at the age where disciplining is huge when my kids like I said when they throw a tantrum or they have a meltdown or whatever I just simply pick them up I take them away from the situation I help them calm down I talk to them and then usually we can proceed and they would be in a better mood I'm always well aware of right around the time that they're going to throw a little fit or a tantrum because maybe I've pushed my luck too far as far as time like uh, a few days ago we were at the mall and we had been there for a little while already and um, I just knew it that sooner or later the boys were going to start freaking out um, so I pushed my luck a little bit and sure enough Isaiah started kind of throwing a little a little tantrum and um, I picked him up out of the stroller and I grabbed him and I said, okay, look, we're, we're going to leave. And I stroked his hair and I kind of helped him calm down. I did go to like, um, the corner of a store. Like I didn't do it right there in front of everybody. I am a firm believer that if you are going to punish your children in public, you need to do it away. Go to a restroom, go to a corner of the store where there is nobody and do your thing. Leave the store if that's what you want to do. Unfortunately, with twins and a huge stroller and me being alone, it's difficult for me to just be like, oh, I'm going to go out to the car and then I'm going to come back. I can't do that. I don't have the time. Um, but <laughs> the kids are out there with my husband. But I do go to a corner and, you know, or outside the store or whatever, and I say okay everything's going to be fine we're going to be okay i just need to pay and then i try to distract him a little bit i always have snacks i always have juice i always my my diaper bag is always stocked my whole family knows my friends know i am the one that always comes with the fully stocked diaper bag i always have like snacks for my kids to eat I always have ways to distract them and I use them on times like that where I know I need to hurry up and we need to wrap up whatever we're doing because these kids are ready to go home so um that's just the way I do things I I'm a first-time mom so I know I'll learn as I go I never want to say no I'm not going to be that mom because I don't know if I'm going to be that mom um but for right now that's what works for us um not much disciplining going on here but I'm interested in seeing what the other moms have to say. They have children that are a slight, slightly older than mine, a little bit older. And I'd like to know, like, I'd like to learn from them as far as what they're doing and what I can do to learn from them. So that is it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any sort of, you know, constructive criticism will be handled well and any sort of, um, you know, uh, advice, I would love to hear in the comments. I have no issues with hearing people tell me what they think is best. Um, go ahead and use the at wannabe mommy to be and then I can see it. Uh, when you at sign uh, mom talk TV, I'm not always signed in. So I don't see them very often unless I keep checking in on the video. So if you want to direct a comment towards me, just do at wanna be mommy to be in the comments I will pop up and you can send that comment directly to me and I will see it on the video so again thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week bye guys